Okay, YouTube. So last time we talked about the CDV 700. That's the actual Geiger counter, so that's not. Um, that's yeah, that's the Geiger counter for low doses uh, or high doses if you set it to a hundred setting. Now we're going to talk about the survey meter. Um, if you don't want something that won't detect anything, don't get this. <laughs> I got it because to add to my collection with this, and this is really, really dirt cheap for the most part. It was about 20 bucks, so I figured why not, and it works, which is really cool. Um, so, survey meters are designed to give you a high, high dose uh, reading, as that's full Rankins an hour. And you got your one, two, three, four, five scales with your check circuits. I'll get into that later. And then on this one, you get your... Uh, Miller Rankins an hour so pretty straightforward for the most part and that one just counts this one just as Rankins so to operate one of these quite simple um, when it's in the opposition you move it to your uh, well to, you can check it obviously so if you want to check it you turn the knob down to your check circuit and the needle will point to check circuit which is means everything's working appropriately and then you if you're using this after about two hours of non-use hold it to zero or let it sit on zero for about two minutes it's been on zero for quite a while here so we're about ready um, and then this little knob zero is the gauge you can turn it and it uh, puts it up or down to zero which is kind of nice I wish that this one had it at some points but oh well um, and so for the hell of it, I'm going to put it to the 0 0.1 and I'll show you why I'm doing this. Alright, so there's our 0 0.1 and it's already going crazy. It's going to slowly go down. Now, here's something interesting I found out with this little guy. A lot of people said that it detects high dosage. Well, so if we take our Fiesta wear. Uh, from the other video with the CDV 700. Put this aside for a second. Now, let's take our probe here. Let's set this guy on a hundred counts. Or let's do it on about ten so we can get a view for what we're doing. Now, let's put it up to our Fiesta wear and take note of the gauge on the Rankin, Mill Rankin an hour scale. We maxed it out at about 0.5, and 0.5 doubled um, is one rank in an hour. So this does put out a rank in an hour. Interesting, isn't it? So then if we go to our 100 scale, as you saw before, it goes to about maybe 0.1 rank in, because now we're really multiplying that scale big time. So. That brought up some questions for me. Well, if this is detecting that it's a Rankin, uh, or one Rankin an hour, wouldn't this detect it? So obviously, if we put it on top, it's not going to do much, because it's made for big dosages. Now, if I take off the inside, actually, so we're still on the uh, point 0.1 scale. So we're at zero right now, correct? And that's what the inside of it looks like, pretty straightforward. And now let's take and put it in point one to where we used to wear. The needle stays up slightly. Take it away, put it in the box, it goes down. How interesting. Let's try the one scale. So now we're doing a one to one ratio. In theory, it should go up to the one meter. Looks like it's just gonna hang over 0.5. But uh, anyways, so if you got yourself some Fiesta wear, it's definitely not a Geiger counter. But you may be able to detect something. Um, thus, 
making sure that the CDV 700 first registers as it, uh, as it as a one as an actual Rankin. Otherwise, if it's not a Rankin, you're going to uh, not register anything at all. But that's a uh, CDV 700 for you guys. Fun little instrument, great little uh, thing to have up on a wall or collector's item, and it works too. That's really cool. But once again, pick this up for about 20 bucks, 30 bucks. I wouldn't pay more than 30, honestly, but yeah. And if you can, get yourself a full plate of Fiesta wear. Because, man, those things are registering awesome. See ya.